What's going on guys? My name is Dan Davis and today I've got my battery life comparison between the Hover Air X1 and the DJI Neo. I'm going to have them both in following modes. I'm going to have them both at a medium distance. Keep in mind that the Neo is going to be capturing 4K 30 and then the Hover Air X1 is going to be capturing 2.7K at 30 frames per second. So I tried this just before and they were actually on top of each other the whole time. So I'm going to have to kind of stagger the launch of them and have them opposite sides and hopefully we can make this work this time. I'm still Starting the timer now, and let's hope they're a little bit further apart this time. Last time I did this test, they kind of got on top of each other. It's happening again, so let's hope that we can make this happen. But you can see just quickly, something that's really cool about both of these drones is that as you go down, they come down with you. So they do match the altitude you're at. If you're climbing up something, they're going to climb up as well. And you can see they're doing a really good job of keeping that distance. So both of them are in that medium, medium or that standard distance from me. And you can see they're darting over the top of each other. So I really, really hope that we can get this test happening. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of pick up the pace down here. And then I'm going to turn around and just kind of come straight towards the camera. Let's just see how they go with this pace. They're keeping very, very close. So you can see remarkably similar in the way that they follow, in the, the distance that they keep from you as well, and just the way that they're operating here. Surprisingly enough, when I did this test just before, I did the follow test where both of them were tracking from a medium distance. They were actually so similar that at times, like one of them would get in front of the other or they'd get on top of each other. And it was just a little too clunky and awkward and the test failed. So in this test, I've got the Neo following from a far distance and the Hover Air following from more of a medium distance. Let's see how this goes. They're both at 100% again. Let's see if we can actually get a full test. The other thing to keep in mind is I will have some links below if you're interested interested in either the Neo or the Hover Air X1. In particular, if you're looking for the Neo, then I will have a link below to the D1 Store's website. You can use the code DANSTUBE over there to save on most drones, cameras, and accessories. And keep in mind, I will have some international links as well for my international audience for both the Hover Air and the Neo. I do have two Facebook groups that I would recommend joining. I've got an Australian one and I've got a worldwide group for the Neo. Okay, so the timer has started officially. Let's try this again. The Neo should be now following from a far distance. There we go. And the Hover Air is now at that standard or that medium distance. So now there's a little bit of a, a buffer between them. It was kind of funny to watch actually how close they were getting to each other. It just shows you how remarkably tuned they are. That medium distance is very similar across the board here. So theoretically, this should work now. We shouldn't have any issues. Fingers crossed, everyone. Let's put some uh, crossed fingers in the chat for this one, because this is the third time I've tested it, and I've been sitting here for about 30 minutes charging up all the batteries. <laughs> probably longer than that, actually, probably 40 minutes or so. Anyway, so what we're going to see here is we're going to see the 4K footage from the Neo, which is the big improvement here over the Hover Air. Also, the Neo does have an improved battery life, so that's why I've done a battery life test here. On the channel very soon, I will have a full comparison where I discuss the differences between these drones. Straight off the bat, the Hover Air has a very unique folding design where the Neo is more of a fixed design, right? So you can't fold it away, put it into your pocket. It would fit in the pocket, but for me, I, I like the fact that with the Hover Air, you can fold it away and chuck it straight in your pocket. With the Neo, with the Fly More kit, you didn't actually get a bag with it, which I was hoping for. Um, so just keep all these things in mind. There will be third party bags you can get. There will be official bags you can get and cases and whatnot. Um, but just keep in mind that folding design is unique to the Hover Air. Now, I would imagine video quality from the Neo is going to be better. It is that 4K and it does have the, um, it does have a half inch sensor on it. So I'm keen to see how this goes. Let's kind of pick up a little bit of the pace here. Let's just uh, dart around. And this test actually seems to be working this time because they're able to swing around without knocking into each other. It was kind of amazing to see how close they were getting when they were both in the medium mode. All right, so let's try to get a few kick ups here and check the time as I'm kicking up. Two minutes, 18, okay. so. Theoretically, when I did the Neo test on its own, the, the pure battery test for the Neo, it got just over 13 minutes. So I'm looking to get 
the same kind of time here. And with the hover air, I would imagine around 10 minutes. I'm predicting that the Neo is going to slightly win it here by a few minutes. I'm also predicting that when we put some side by sides of the video quality, you're going to see that stabiliz stabilization across the board is going to look great from both of the drones. But what I'm predicting is that the 4K from the Neo is going to look a lot better than the Hover Air. In terms of the, the sound from both of them, it's interesting. The Neo is a little louder almost. It's a little more kind of obnoxious, a little bit more whiny. Now they both make a fair bit of noise for tiny drones, especially because they're really close. But the idea of having a tiny drone is just the stealthiness of it, right? To be able to be stealthy when you're out and about at a new location, not bringing eyes and attention to you. So that's interesting to me that from what I can hear, the Neo just seems a little bit louder. They've both got a very similar high pitch whine to them, but the Neo does seem a little louder here and uh, the mic will definitely be picking it up. The flight performance across the board looks great. I would imagine stabilization is going to be great from both of these. And uh, I'm actually glad that the test is happening this time. So basically the idea will be straight when one of them lands, which I'd imagine would be the hover air, that's when I'm going to stop the timer and continue it for the other one. We're at four minutes now. So we should still have a few more minutes here. I'd imagine we're still going to have about six more minutes. So you can see quick direction changes and no issues for either drone. They both do a good job of kind of circling around to get that um, following from behind. Seems to be the preference in this follow mode for both of them. Like even if I walk towards them, you can see it wants to have me at the back in the frame. So it's following from behind as the name following suggests, right? We're up to eight minutes now, so there shouldn't be long left for this hover air, I would not imagine. Let's see how close it's going to get to that 10 minute mark. Come back this way. And then, hey, we got it guys. I'm listening out for when it's going to stop. Should be stopping very soon. You can just see them there. They're doing their thing, no issues. We're getting close to the nine minute mark. So the hover air, you probably only got a little bit more left in you, buddy, where the Neo should still be charging for a couple more minutes after that. And so far, it's as I was expecting. They're both great drones. They both follow. Footage is stable. They change with my altitude as I go down, they go down. You know, they're like, it's like hanging out with the boys. <laughs> Hanging out with the boys. Here we are. I'm just kind of casually walking around there. They're not really helping me out with the game. But you know, they're here for moral support. They're just, they're kind of helping out in some way. And so the 4K, I'm hoping that we can notice a difference when we put a side by side on the screen. Theoretically, you should notice a big difference from 4K to 2.7K. Oh, there's, there's the hover. There it goes. And low battery, nine minutes, 48 seconds for the hover air. That's the end of it. Let's just power down the hover air. You can see it's cool that I can just fold it away, chuck it straight into the pocket. It doesn't actually have a uh, gimbal cover, which is one thing I would really like for the hover air, but I did get myself a case for the hover air, but you can see I can just fold it and put it straight into my pocket like so. And now we're continuing the test with the Neo. So we're getting very close now. I'm just gonna come in a little bit because any second now, it should be, be landing. Getting close to the 13 minute mark. Let's straighten up this camera while all of this is happening. So there it is there. There it is. <laughs> Still going. Still going. We're up to 13 minutes, two seconds, three seconds. Any second now, we should have probably about another 10 seconds remaining in this little guy and it should auto auto land. I actually want to catch it as it lands, uh, but I kind of should leave it, hey, just to let it touch the ground and then we stop. So 13 minutes, 22 seconds, 23 seconds. We should not have much time left now. There should definitely not be too much time left. 
It's interesting as you move closer, it doesn't like push back. It definitely wants to keep that perspective from the rear. Still going. This has exceeded my previous test. It can't have long left now, can it? It's got to be done any time. We're getting to 14 minutes now. This is uh, 45 seconds more than my initial TED Air it goes. So in this test, I actually got more flight time out of it, interestingly enough. And stop. There we go. That was the battery life comparison between the Hover Air X1 and the DJI Neo. If you are a beginner drone pilot or you know someone who's just started out in the drone space, then I have created a drone course designed for beginners out there. It's called the Fearless Drone Academy. You can use the code Dan's Tube to save over there. I would highly recommend it if you're starting your drone journey. I'm very sweaty even though I wasn't really doing too much. But the final results, so the Hover Air got nine minutes and 48 seconds and the DJI Neo got 14 minutes and five seconds. So this actually exceeded my initial test, which got about 13 minutes and 13 seconds. It got an extra 45, 50 seconds on top of my initial test. So 14 minutes of flight time is a huge increase over the Hover Air X1. Really impressive stuff. Both did an awesome job here, guys. So I'd love your thoughts in the comments below. And keep in mind, I will have a full comparison between these two drones very soon. Keep tuned to that and I'll chat to you very soon. Peace.